Hi everyone, it's Tammy Pelly, aka The Crafty Princess, and we have a rainy afternoon here as we wait for Hurricane Irma in South Florida. So, of course, that means I'm going to do a little dolly video because why not? Um, here we have uh, Anna Sue, um, and she's been in this outfit for a while. It's a pretty cute outfit, actually, but I think it's time for her to get a new outfit, and as it happens, I got some dolly mail today. This is from the shop, uh, Vooney, Vooney shop? Yeah, Vooney shop. And so it's come a long way from Thailand. So let's pull this out and see what I've got going on here. If I can do this right with the camera. Let's see. Go down, 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 down. All right, let me move these scissors out of the way. I've been sewing, if you've seen any of my sewing videos, but, um, Sewing machines in the shop right now. So here we go. Here is <laughs> here are the dresses. I think I got three dresses if I remember correctly. Um, this is super cute. This must be some swag they gave me. You can always use stockings, of course. And let's see. There's another dress. I, I think they were all from when I remember very similar to each other. Yes, this, this one has owls. I love the yellow. This actually might look really good on her. Um, let's see. It should come over here. In fact, let me take her out of her stand and set her down here. We can kind of look and see. She's got this really unusual, you know, dark purple hair. And a very nice face up. So this yellow owls might look good on her or pink. She's in pink now. She's rocking the pink. But since she's in pink, I don't know. This has sheep on it. And this is more of a peachy, peachy color. And this has kitties on it. All right, so there's going to be a little rattling and possible dolly nudity to arrive in the near future. I apologize if the sound bothers you, but um, yeah, so that's Boonie Shop. They're on Etsy, by the way. Very nice clothing, especially I can appreciate it now that I'm sewing. There's like a little bit of uh, zigzag detail on here on a ribbon. They've added some lace on here. Um, you can see it's sewn in. They do use Velcro for those anti-Velcro people. I will say, I'm, now that I'm making dresses, I am not using Velcro. But personally, I don't even like sewing with it. It just doesn't feel good to me. And they finish their seams pretty nicely. Hmm. And of course, the top is lined. All right, so with this, I think this looks okay, but not like great on her. Honestly, this girl could wear anything. But yeah, I think that's a little washed out for her. Okay. And then, like I said, the pink probably is going to look good, but she's been wearing this pink jumper for a while. I'm trying to know how much I paid for these. They were all the same price because they're basically the same. I want to say they were like $8 or something, which is a really good price. Again, this has a little finishing here at the end. The sheep are so cute. I love this fabric. All right, so mm -hmm, this would look cute. This would look good on her, All right? And then what about the yellow? I'm thinking the yellow is going to look really good with that hair. Let's see. Let's see. So. Or pink. I don't know I like, if I like it as much as I thought I would now that I have it on her, but I'm going to go ahead and put her in this. I think I'm going to take her shoes off here. She's just barefoot. In fact, you know what? This little jumper, they haven't had this. It's a one piece with like bloomers. And they have not had this in their shop for a while, this type of design, I don't think. But this actually comes from Vooney Shop, too. Clearly, I am a regular customer of theirs. Let me get this off of her. All right. 
little girl. Oh, she has her purple undies on still. <laughs> Those are cute. One of the few dolls that have stock dolls with gorgeous undies. I don't know why they don't do that with all the dolls. I mean, I'm sure it's not easy to do, but sure makes little details like that make such a big difference. All right, I'm Velcroing. Get this on her here. like it but I don't know if I love it let's put the pink one on and see what to see here I don't have a name for this girl other than just you know Anna Sui I guess Anna I haven't I know sometimes I get names for dolls right away and sometimes I just kind of like hmm I can't think of it nothing comes to mind doesn't mean I don't like the doll I do adore this doll she's beautiful I'm a purple holic so really like purple actually I do think this pink looks cuter on her and yeah go and secure that vel velcro without Messing up her hair, which I just put in a little ponytail. And let me see, let me put her shoes on here. I'm going to put these, these little tennis shoes, I think these are from um, Mimi Wu. And they're not my first pick with this dress, but for now, I think I'm going to put them on her. Alright, I'll put her in her stand. So I'm going to cut here and put her in her stand and adjust the camera a little. Okay, here she is in the pink dress, and I just left those little pink tinnies on. I think they actually look kind of cute. Um, yeah, in fact, I have some teeny tiny knitting needles. She probably needs a knitting project. That would look really cute with this little outfit. Um, I really like how they pay attention to some details. Like you notice here, there's a sheep right here, and then there's a sheep and a sheep up here. So when they were cutting the pattern out, they you know paid a little attention to where they were cutting. In fact, they did that with both of these. So there's a um, there's an owl right here. There's a cat right here. And yeah, now that I'm making my own dresses, I notice that's something to kind of pay attention to. Um, I have some dress projects in the works ready to go when I get my sewing machine back. You can see I've got over here. I've got some uh, what do you call it? Fabric cut out for Halloween dresses and. Of course, some little flowery dresses. These are my first practice pieces. But anywho, uh, yeah, for eight bucks, you can't beat it when you're buying doll dresses from uh, overseas. That's for sure. Thanks for watching. As usual, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Let me think. Uh, let me know what you think about these dresses. Did you think the pink one was the best one, or do you think yellow, or do you think this one would have been better? I think this is kind of washes her out a little bit because she's so fair. But yeah, let me know what you think about the dress selection and uh, what I ended up putting on Anna Sui. Have a wonderful dolly day. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.